Hi, I'm Corey, and I am a f***ing coward. What's up? I'm Corey, and this is another video. Uh, I have taken a while to put out another video because I have been dealing with resistance. Resistance with a capital R. That is the resistance that Mr. Stephen Pressfield speaks about, the author. Uh, in the seminal book. Well, there's a few of them. There's the artist's journey, uh, turning pro, and then the war of art. That's the one. Uh, this man knows what he's talking about. And I have been experiencing this. I've been experiencing this with putting out these videos. My goal was to do 52 throughout this year, 52 by the end of the year. And I am woefully behind. I've done six? Six? Five? Six. I've done six so far and we are in May. <laughs> I should be like 20 in. Uh, but that's what this video is for. I'm not going to punish myself. I'm not going to talk mean to myself uh, any more than I have. And I, I'm going to just put out this video to move forward. I'm working on a couple different videos that, ha that are more in the style of what I've been doing. Uh, stories. Uh, another book review, but this one is uh, another kind of reflection, a reflection on what's going on, and honestly, a way for me to get back on the horse. So I'm sorry you have to deal with this, with me, uh, with just a kind of a, a rant, a talk, uh, a discussion, an offering, if you will, to yourself and to me to get back on the horse. I want to make more of these videos, but I get I get caught up in the idea of what will people think or not think? Um, what will I think? Who who do I want to be? What do I want to do with this? It's just it's just way too much thinking. I need to do more doing. So that's what this video is. It's doing. You know, it's interesting because these videos, um, it's it's a mix. It's somewhere on the spectrum of people care and will be mean or say something or judge or really enjoy it to not caring at all. Nobody, some, some people won't give a shit. Most people won't give a shit. I feel like it's gotta be somewhere between how some have said that we're simply meat bags on a space rock or thought programs in a God machine. <laughs> uh, maybe it's both. Maybe it's somewhere in the middle. Maybe it's nothing. Um, everything means nothing. Nothing means everything. That being said, this is just a YouTube video. Uh, it's just a video. It's just a, 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 some information, some ones and zeros on the internet waves. And I shouldn't care that much. But if I'm being truthful, uh, I, I care a lot. I care a lot about um, what you would think about me. And I'm trying to get over that because it shouldn't matter. Uh, it shouldn't matter what you care about me and it shouldn't matter what I care about you. Um, if we detach, that's where we can get some real work done. Because then we're not worried about what, what, what we think, or what we think about what others think. We're just worried about the work itself. I'm reading the sacred Hindu text, the Bhagavad Gita right now. And it talks about the idea of how we are entitled to the work, but not the fruits of our work. And I've heard this expressed in other places as well, this detachment from the results, but I need to work on it <laughs> because I, I get wrapped up in that. We get wrapped up in that. It's if we do this, we deserve this, or if we work, we get paid. And I, I'm not sure the universe and life necessarily works like that. You can do all the work and make nothing. We have to work on releasing this attachment to the results over and over and over. It's like a, a healthy dog that shakes off whatever it just went through and then walks on its way and on to, on to the next bone. On, on to the next bone. On to the next squirrel. <laughs> On to the next whatever. Dogs will find something. But we have to get better at making our bets and letting the chips fall where they may. So this is me making a bet. So what's the answer then for me? Well, it's just, if making, a, if making this next video is so big to me, then I need to make it smaller. I need to make it doable. I need to take the next smallest step. 
that's what this is. Again, this is a video of me just getting something out there. I need to get something out there because otherwise I'll just get stuck in the mud. I will be stuck in the mud and then all of a sudden it'll be December and I will only be 10 videos in out of the 52 and, and that's not where I want to be. I want to, I want to do this. I want to, I want to meet my goal. How many times do we make goals and, and not get there? It, it sucks. And I, I want to be done with that. I want to, I want to move forward. I want to contribute. I want to explore. I want to discuss. I want to get curious. I want to share. But where does that come from? That I, I, that the stopping ourselves, this resistance, this, 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 this cloud of darkness that pulls you back down when you're skating to glory. Where, where does that come from? This feeling of, I don't deserve this, or I, I'm not good enough, or I'm an imposter. What makes us hold ourselves back, keep ourselves small? It's interesting that we as humans have such a propensity to a will to survive and to propagate and live. And yet within that, we can still keep ourselves small and make excuses and break promises to others and ourselves. I'm tired. I'm tired of that. I am truly, truly tired of that, of feeling so down and feeling so undeserving letting the demons pull you down. I want to dance with the demons instead. I want to make friends. I want to twerk with them. What's up, y'all? Let's dance. But it's hard, you know? You go back and you look at the stuff that you work on and sometimes you just want to burn it all down with napalm. It's like, this, I have put so much time into this and what is it good for? Absolutely nothing, say it again. There are times where this happens, where you look at it and you're like, this, this work is, is, not, is not showable. This, this work is not, this, this writing is not workable. It is not gonna, it's not it. It's not it. And it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel stupid, this, this resistance. Because when I'm doing this, when I, I'm actually writing this stuff and filming it and editing it and releasing it, and, and talking about it, it, it feels good. It feels like I'm plugged in. And that's a good feeling. And I'm not saying that's what you need to be doing to feel plugged in. You have your own ways that you feel connected to what feels good. But the problem is that that, that immense feeling of connection seems to be tethered with fear. I saw... Uh, an interview with Jordan Peterson talking about how you can't get the gold without the dragon. I think that's I think that's just a wonderful quote and imagery. I you have to you have to be willing to get into the arena. As Mr. Roosevelt had said and Brené Brown has rearticulated, you have to be willing to get into the arena. And I've been a coward these last few weeks or the last month, I, I look back, it's been a month since I've released a video. That's too long. I have been yellow. I've been yellow. Yellow. I've been yellow for a month. And I'm done with that. Here we are. Because this fear of embarrassment or fear of disconnection or fear of hate, it's not getting me anywhere. It, it brings me back to the same place. If I, if I don't do what's inside of me, it almost feels the same way as if that sort of stuff was coming at me anyway. This programming for us is, it's something special. And I wanna use it for good. I wanna keep exploring. I heard this somewhere, one thing that's done is better than a thousand things started. I submit this as one thing done, one step forward, a fight, a punch against the resistance. <laughs> oh, that's
that's good. All right, cool.